We have some examples of AD, um, so when you're watching it, the uh, first one is from the Enchanted Kingdom. It's a documentary. More animals live here than in any other realm, but they're hard to find. A brown lizard hides behind a leaf. A green snake winds along a vine. A green and white striped mantis feeds. An insect with large antennae and mandibles turns. Hardly any light gets there. And down here, on the forest floor, a leaderless army of blind ants is on the move. With mandibles wide, a black ant rears up. Driver ants. A river of red-brown ants scuttles through moss and down a muddy slope. Did you notice how we were describing around the soundtrack there that the AD stopped for audio moments yeah. and the chittering and all that sort of stuff? That's really, it's a really great soundtrack and you need to hear that because it's so much more evocative of Africa and the jungle than anything I could try to describe. You saw how much was left out there, but it's just important. So it's not just dialogue, it's also sound. So that goes for music as well. I did a film called American Hustle. Um, there was a very complicated scene where all of the characters met together in a nightclub and lots was going on, but they were playing Yellow Brick Road by Elton John and I could not describe over it because it was just such a great moment in cinema. I couldn't describe over it. So despite the fact there was so much going on, let it go. You just leave out a lot. They're missing out a lot. It's a different experience. We can't capture everything. So there's no, um, I don't think Holly subtitled films should be audio described. Subtitled films that are completely subtitled. So French language film that's completely subtitled, French language subtitled into English. If they wanted audio described, get it dubbed in English and then we audio describe that version. Because if there's subtitles, we're reading out all the subtitles. Yeah. Exactly. So you're reading over the top of the characters, you're missing all the information of the characters' voices and that's age, social background, so much information in that. Um, we do do subtitled movies, subtitles are completely standard, but um, we usually if sometimes clients have said will you do this one and we sort of point out the problems of doing the whole subtitled movie okay but we've done orange is the new black lots of subtitles that subtitles are fine just not the whole movie so for english language speakers who are hard to understand strong accent whatever reason um this we make that call on a case-by-case -case basis because sometimes we can understand them and so we leave it even if they have been subtitled. If we can't understand it, then we'll, we will um, talk over the top of him, yeah. Um, we did a film about a musician who was turning blind, I can't remember his name, and he was subtitled all the way through, but the only reason you're watching this movie is to hear that musician talk. So unless he was very difficult to understand, we didn't describe it, because once again, it's respect the film. So it depends on the comprehensibility. The other thing is blind people are quite good at figuring it out. The VIPs, they're used to this. So we balance on um, if we think it's comprehensible. Mm -hmm.